welcome back to my channel. I am super excited because today is actually the first day I am thrifting in the new year. I'm so looking forward to this. So I'm gonna put the timestamp right here if you wanna fast forward right to the haul. But without further ado, let's go thrifting. First up was Goodwill to see what new inventory they had there. I stumbled across this box though and instantly fell in love with it. It's everything that I've been looking for and I love trinket boxes like this. So for me, it was a definite grab. It had so much charm and character that I just couldn't pass it up. I also stumbled across this wooden carousel piece which ended up being a music box which I thought was really cool. But the price was not. It was $25. So I wasn't sure if it was a vintage piece or not or a collectible item but I thought that was a little too high. I also stumbled across this vase which I thought was really cool but I see them rather often and so for that reason I passed. And as much as I love amber glass this was not the style that I was looking for so for that reason I put it back on the shelf. I did really love this face though. It just had a really nice detail on the bottom of it and I thought it was a decent size too. Decently priced as well, but last minute, I just decided to put it back on the shelf. I also stumbled across this green jar, which I thought was cute. It was only $6.99, so I thought that was a really good price. It unfortunately just didn't go with the decor I have in my home currently. I did like this ceramic piece though. Thought it was really cute. Didn't know if it was a candlestick holder. I also stumbled across this ceramic. It was a really nice color and I really love the design on it. Normally I would pick it up, but I have a lot of vases, so I'm being a little bit more selective these days. And this little tea set was undeniably cute. I had to stop to take a look at it, but of course I don't need any of those either. And as luck would have it, I stumbled across this glass box, something I didn't know I need, yet I could not part with it. And I was truly surprised to find a brass pelican at my local thrift store, but I was totally enamored by it. Now, I was a little shocked by the price, but I ended up picking it up anyways. There were actually quite a few brass items at my thrift store today, which was really surprising. Normally, I don't find a lot of brass items, but I was actually lucky this day. And the styles of the items look so similar that I figured that these items had been donated by the same person. But regardless, I was really happy with what I found. I also found this watercolor painting. I thought it was beautiful and I wish I picked it up. I'm now regretting that I didn't. And I also stumbled across this old trunk, but when I looked at it, I saw that it was broken, split in several places. So for that reason and the fact that it was priced for $25, I left it behind. And this modern style candlestick holder was a very surprising find too. Very adorable, just not something I was looking for. I did have to note though that I did find another ceramic elephant. This one was not my style though, so I left it behind. And this candlestick holder I thought was really cute too. But as often as I buy candlestick holders, I ended up passing on it. I did look in the lamp section too to see if anything spoke to me, but nothing was really noteworthy. And anytime I find a candle, I have to stop and take a look. Unfortunately, this one was just a little too strong for my liking. Some other noteworthy pieces. I really loved these ceramics right here. And I love the flower detail on it too. I just thought it was so pretty. It was $7.99 though, and I thought it was for the set, but I ended up realizing that each item was actually separately priced, so I did not grab it. And these glass pieces, I think they were candlestick holders, were absolutely gorgeous. They were $20 for the pair, but it wasn't something that I felt like I absolutely needed to have. So all done with Goodwill. Not a lot of stuff, but some great vintage finds. So we're gonna go to the Big Salvation Army to see what furniture pieces we can find. And maybe we'll get lucky with some home decor too. So let's head on over. So jumping right into it, I found this candlestick holder. I'll be honest, I was really tempted to buy this one. And I also decided I need to style the other ones before I buy any more. I did, however, find this little stack of books that appears to be a DIY and was priced for $5.99. And this wicker style chair that I think is supposed to hold mini plants was absolutely adorable that I just had to show you. I also stumbled across some other brass-like items that weren't truly brass. I'm currently searching for candle sconces, but these were just not the style that I was interested in. I did stumble across these amber style glasses, very adorable pieces. There were also apple style bowls that had the same exact coloring. And I'm not sure if they originally went together, but I just thought it was a cute set. And this big ceramic bowl actually caught my eye and it was $4.99, so great price, just wasn't something that I was going for. And the whole reason why I stopped was to look at the furniture section, but unfortunately, other than this desk, there wasn't much there. Unfortunately, not much there, not much that I was interested in, so off to the next place. So our last stop of the day was the little boutique just to see what they had. 
One of the first things that caught my eye was this candle snuffer. It's just cute and adorable and a great piece to have. I also was drawn to this piece because I actually thrifted a piece before and looking at that price made me realize I got a good deal. And I thought this frame was beautiful. Great piece to put some artwork in or a mirror. And I looked through the remaining set of frames but nothing was noteworthy to me. In the hunt for some Pyrex dishes, I looked at the pie dishes as well as the bowl dishes. But unfortunately, none of them were actually Pyrex dishes, which was unfortunate, but expected. But I will say that this thrift store always has some great glassware, things that you can't find at most thrift stores. Which is why I usually return to this thrift store every so often to see what their inventory looks like. I did, however, stumble across this blanket. It was beautiful. I love the texture of it. And after looking at it, I thought this was too good of a grab to pass up on. So I just got done at the little boutique. Again, not a lot of finds, but I did score something really good. So with that being said, it's thrift out time. Okay, so first up is this hexagon box. I found it in the gold section and I actually just stumbled across it. It wasn't something that I was looking for. And I really love the fact that it has a mirrored bottom. I think it would just be a really cool feature to have those statement jewelry pieces stuck in here. I think it's really beautiful. It does have a little bit of a design on the front. As soon as I saw this design, this instantly brought me back to the 90s mirrors that had like the etched detail on it. And I always thought that was funny because because I was like, isn't the whole point of a mirror to see the reflection? And this is me as a kid saying this. Like, I really don't, when I think 90s, I just, I still, I'm still one of those people who think like, oh, that was like 10 years ago. <laughs> no, it wasn't. You're 31, Rachel. <laughs> You're 31, Rachel. So this brings up a really good question that I'm very curious about. When you were growing up, the design trends that you were seeing as you were growing up, did you absolutely love them or did you really not like them? Or if there's anything like from your childhood that you really loved design wise or really hated design wise, please let me know. I'd love to hear it. But yes, I'm gonna be using this as a jewelry box for sure. Price wise, definitely think it could have been cheaper. This was priced at $9.99 and I'm gonna go ahead and say that a lot of the things that I bought this day in particular were very pricey and I wasn't a fan of the price. I wasn't a fan of the price. So this right here, although $9.99, and I do think that's a high price, but I really love the hexagon shape and so I picked it up. Next up is actually this wood bowl. It's a very weird shape, I will give it that, but I absolutely love the fact that it was just like true to form real wood. It has imperfections. I just really love the wood grain coming through. I think this is just really cool, but I was thinking about maybe making this into a dupe of one of the wooden bowls that I've seen on the McGee Co. website. I honestly really like picking up unique pieces for my home. So this one again was $9.99, but I just really think it's a different kind of design and I really liked it because of that. So next up are these brass bowls. I found them and instantly was drawn to them because obviously they are carved into, but I also really liked that this one had a little bit of a pedestal on it and then these were just kind of flat bowls. So styling wise, I was thinking maybe just having like two like this. Um, I bought three though. I'm not really sure why I bought three now that I think about it. I probably should have only bought two. The small ones were $7.99 and then this one with the pedestal was $9.99. I really love these, but I do think the prices were a little high. These were definitely a splurge because when I picked them up, I was like, ah, that's a lot. And I honestly couldn't reason with myself buying all four. But yes, I do think these are just gonna be styled on my sideboard upstairs when I get one. Or this could be really great just together on a coffee table. They're just really cute. There's so many things that you can do with these, but I just really like it. I think it's really cool and I'm awful when it comes to brass. And so I just gave in to my need for brass. And next up, is this brass pelican. So I did not go to the thrift stores with any intention of buying any more brass animals. Yeah, here I am. But I was really excited when I found it. So excited, in fact, that I had to show you ahead of time. It does say it's solid brass, it was made in India. So my little pelican friend here was by itself. Um, and was priced for $12.99. I did, however, look up this brass pelican just because of the fact that I felt like I could probably use the Google lens on it and just see some information about it. Most of the sold listings were around $19.99. This is one for sure that I knew that even though it was $12.99, I really felt like I love this guy. 
And so my little pelican came home and I really love it. I was thinking this one will probably go on a bookshelf, but this one is a great piece that honestly I could see this just about anywhere. Next up is this wooden box. I loved this wooden box. Had no idea what its original use was for, but I just thought it was gorgeous. It does have this brass inlay. I just thought it was beautiful, but I absolutely love the look of storage boxes and boxes like this styled on bookshelves. I just think that's a really cool look, especially when it's stacked on top of something. So for me, this will definitely be a shelf styling piece. And although it has a keyhole, it did not come with a key. And it also has these brass brackets right here that I think are really cool. This was honestly a must buy for me. I just really loved it. Again, it was $9.99. Yeah, the wood grain on it is beautiful too. So just a piece I had to have. And so the last thing I got from Goodwill was actually this pillar candlestick. Never has been lit. A beautiful color too. It smells amazing. So this says Jasmine Chai, and I'm not familiar with the brand, but it says DW Home. But this was only $5, which I think is a really great price. And I try to find candles as often as I can when I go thrifting, just because of the fact candles can be very expensive. So if it can fit, this is going in my lantern that I thrifted a few weeks back. But $5 for this size candle, I think is really good. Really, it smells really good. So the next thrift store I went to after Goodwill, I didn't find anything there. So I went to the thrift store that I called the Little Boutique. And the first thing that I got there was this candle snuffer. I absolutely love the idea of just having candle snuffers around. It's like a recent epiphany for me. Like these are cool. I really loved this one. I thought it was cute and so I picked it up. I really loved like the bell shape of it. The candle snuffer that I already have is a little bit of a different style, but I think it's cute. And I love the fact that it actually has like a little bit of like a hinge. So I picked this one up. It was originally priced for $3, but I've come to learn that if I go on a Saturday, most of the time they're running a sale on on their housewares and so it was 50% off. So I wasn't gonna say no to that. And even if it was full price, I think $3 was actually pretty fair for this. And last but not least is something that I found that I thought was a really good find, especially for the price. So I've been looking for quilts for a really long time and I ended up stumbling across this beautiful piece. It is a beautiful quilt-like blanket that fits full and queen size beds. I love the fact that it's like a cream color and I love the like the design, the diamond design on it. It's so beautiful, oh my goodness. And so I like looked at it and then I picked it up. I didn't know what the price was, but I was like, I'm getting this because good blankets are really hard to find. Good things in my opinion don't stay on shelves for a really long time and I feel like a really good blanket or a really good throw pillow are just things that people really want and so I don't find them too often and normally because of that I don't look for them. However, when I saw this, it felt amazing. It says it's 100% cotton, it was made in Portugal and it's just a beautiful simple quilt. I felt it and I was just like, oh yeah, this is coming home with me. So I went to the register and it was originally priced for only $15. Now $15 for this. I think that's really good. For a really good quilt that fits up to a queen size, that's really good. But because housewares were 50% off, with 50% off, it was only $7.50. Uh, definitely the best deal of the day. I am truly surprised by this, but I think it's gorgeous. This will definitely go on one of our beds for sure. Maybe the guest bedroom because it's such a nice quilt, but something tells me we'll probably steal it for ourselves and put it up in our bedroom just because it's so nice. But $7.50, beautiful, no visible stains on it. Like that's that's unheard of. I'm really happy that I got this one. I think it was just an amazing buy, an amazing find. Honestly, I didn't get a lot of stuff from this trip, but I do really think this was a good start of the new year. So if you liked this video or if you liked anything from this haul, definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up. Also, I'll link below for you another video to watch if you're new here, haven't seen it, or maybe you're just interested in watching another video again. It was a good one to watch. But I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Wait, this way. Yes. And then when I don't, I'm like, I don't know. It's a pelican. I don't know why I wanted a pelican. Quick math.